Hello everyone. I hope everyone is doing well. In this video, we will learn what is bending stress and the relation between bending stress, bending moment, and certain geometrical properties like moment of inertia and centroid. Now, if we have a beam, first we will just understand the concept of bending stress, and then we will solve one example. If I have a beam, look here. We have a beam here. If I apply a load here on the beam, there will be bending moment. The beam will bend, right? This is we discussed in the previous video. Bending moment, all these things we have discussed, and you can find these videos in the description of this video. I will provide the link. So after some time, the beam will become like this. We have applied the force, and the beam is now uh, it bend. So there is a bending moment. and because of this force when the beam bend there are bending stresses internally in the beam now we have studied stresses like tensile stresses compressive stresses uh, you can say the direct stresses unlike those stresses the bending stresses are not uniformly distributed over the cross section of the beam we cannot say that the bending stress here is same like bending stress which is here why it is so look this beam bend right and in this bending you see the shape of the beam is if you are looking from here it looks like a concave shape and if you are looking from here it is convex so here the top side of the beam what happens to this side of the beam look here in this topic when we are explaining the bending stresses it is better for us to divide the beam into small small fiber like i have this fiber you see i have another fiber so let's say we have many fiber in this beam now once we apply the force the beam bend what happens to this fiber the extreme fiber on the top surface this fiber compress right because we have applied the force in this way and it bend like this so the this fiber there is a compression at the top but if you look here from the bottom side there is a tension in this fiber it extend right so we have if this fiber and we have bend like this so it extend there is tension here so there will be more tensile stresses here and there will be more compressive stresses here both are bending stress so if we go from here from the top like from here to this extreme fiber which is at the bottom what is happening we are going from the compression toward tension here we have more compression here we have more tension so in between in the middle there will be some fiber from in which we are now like we are just shifting from compression to tension let's say that fiber is here in the middle so here we reach we are in compression and then after this we are in tension so this fiber in the center we usually call this neutral axis or neutral fiber it will neither have tension nor it will have compression so there will be no bending stresses at that uh, fiber and that fiber usually it passes from the centroid of the cross section of the beam so if this is the centroid we draw somehow in 3d so this neutral axis it passes from the centroid of the beam so there is a relation between the bending stresses the bending moment and the 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 the, the centroid is related so we we found the moment of inertia we have done a video on it and it is available in the description the link you can see how to find the moment of inertia of different cross section of the beam so this cross section also has a relation there so moment of inertia is involved in the bending stresses formula 
So the bending stresses we represent bending stresses with F B. Let's say. So this F B bending stresses are directly proportional to the bending moment. If the moment is more, there will be more bending stresses. So bending stresses are directly proportional to the bending moment. Now they are also directly proportional to the distance from the neutral axis. How? Look here. If I have this beam and we say that this is the neutral axis, here this is the neutral axis, the center one. Now, if I am going away from this neutral axis to the top side, what happens? The compression increases. So here we have less compression, more compression, more compression, and here we have maximum compression. So bending stresses and the compression will be more at the top. Again, to the other side, if we are going to the bottom, here we have less tension, less tension, less, and then extreme fiber, the, the, the last fiber. Here we have more tension. So it means as we are moving away from the neutral axis, the bending stresses also increase. So the bending stresses are also directly proportional to the distance from the neutral axis because usually we find the, 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 the bending stresses at some fiber, right? We, we can find the bending stresses, let's suppose at this fiber, we can find at this fiber, at this fiber, any fiber we can find, right? So we need to include this that that fiber is how much away from the neutral axis. Usually we are finding for the extreme fiber in our calculation, like the compression here and the tension here. So once we have the bending stresses and the extreme fiber, it means these are the maximum stresses that can occur in the beam. So then whatever is inside will be less, but we can find at any fiber. So that's why the bending stresses are directly proportional to the distance from the neutral axis in any fiber. Bending stresses in any fiber are directly proportional to the distance from the neutral axis. But in all these, there is one thing which is resisting and which is opposing the beams to bend and that is the cross-section area of the beam. So from the cross-section we find the moment of inertia. So we can say that moment as we discussed in, even in the moment of inertia definition, that moment of inertia is the property which resists the bending in the uh, beam. So this bending stresses are done inversely proportional to the moment of energy. So we have the FB which is we call bending stresses. I is the moment of inertia. Y is the distance of the, the fiber where we are finding the bending stresses from the neutral axis. So this is the distance from neutral axis to that fiber. And M, you know this is bending moment. M is the bending moment. So now we have this formula. From this, we can find the bending stresses. If moment, if, uh, moment bending moment is given and the cross section uh, area is given, so we can find moment of inertia and we can uh, uh, find the centroid even to find the, the 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 distance of the extreme fiber from the neutral axis. So we will have y, we will have i from the geometry, and we can find bending moment. Then we will be able to find bending stresses. And this formula we are also using, let's suppose if we have the bending stresses and we want to, let's say, select a geometry of the beam, like we want to select any size of the beam. So how we do it? We rearrange the formula in this way, like I bring FB divided by bending moment equal to Y over I. So if this term you have, now these are the, the term which you will get from the scenario that you have. Uh, let's suppose the, you know the load which you will apply to the beam, you know the, then you can find the bending moment and if the stresses are given that the, in the material, this much stresses can occur. So you can select a beam for that scenario. How you can select? 
geometrically you can find the the, the these two properties are geometrical properties so you can find the cross section area of the beam right so it could be like this it could be t shape any shape it could be any shape then it depends you play with these two geometrical properties so these must be equal to this uh, fb over m and that will be the right beam but now we will solve a problem on this let's say we have the bending moment we have the uh, cross section area how we find the bending stresses in a beam okay so now we have this problem you see here what we have we have this beam right uh, two reaction forces 27 kN is acting here 27 kN is acting here the load which is acting is 54 kN the bending moment diagram is given here this is the bending moment diagram and we see the maximum bending moment here is 67.5 kN meter this is also provided we have also been provided the cross section area this is the cross section area the cross section area is 100 millimeter by 300 millimeter the height is 300 millimeter and the width is 100 millimeter anywhere it is given then we have the neutral plane here and above the neutral plane this is y and below the neutral plane also it is y as it is symmetrical you see from y here and this one it will be equal because it is rectangular so we will have y 150 and y here 150 so the, the stresses which we will be finding will be same in the compressive uh, stresses and the tensile uh, stresses so bending stresses and tension will be same through the bending stresses and compression now how we will find it we know that bending stresses are equal to we, we have the formula bending stresses are equal to fb is equal to my divided by i moment of inertia now what we need to find first we have to find moment of inertia moment of inertia for this how we can find we have the width and we have the height so we know it is a rectangle so for a rectangle the moment of inertia is equal to b h cube divided by 12 b h cube divided by 12 so b is 100 i am using millimeter so at the end i will have millimeter 4 100 times 300 q divided by 12 if you calculate you get moment of inertia is equal to 2 to 5 into 10 raised to the power 6 millimeter 4 so we found the moment of inertia now what we need we need to find y what is y look y is the distance from the neutral axis this is the neutral axis to the extreme fiber so this is also y and this one is also y but as it is symmetrical the shape is above the neutral axis is same like below the neutral axis so we will take one y and we will find just normal bending stresses which will be in tension as well as in compression because if you have this beam and you bend the beam so the bend will the, the bending moment will be like this right the beam will bend like this so at the top here we will have compression here at the top and at the bottom we will have tension but both are same so that's why we will use one so y here is equal to one one this 300 divided by 2 so y is equal to 300 divided by 2 which is 150 150 millimeter we have moment of inertia in millimeter 4 we have uh, y which is the distance from the neutral axis to the extreme fiber is 150 millimeter now the bending moment here is given 67.5 kilonewton uh, kilonewton meter so we need to convert this into kilonewton uh, sorry we need to convert this into newton millimeter right so 67 0.5 kilo newton meter this is equal to 67.5 into 10 raised to the power if i convert kilo newton into newton i will put 10 raised to the power 3 so 1 10 raised to the power 3 and then if i want to convert meter into millimeter another 10 raised to the power 3 so 10 raised to the power 6 this will be newton millimeter so now i have the bending moment which we represent with m right yes so bending moment 67.5 into 10 raised to the power 6 newton millimeter i have y 150 millimeter moment of inertia is 
uh, you can say uh, 220, uh, 225 into 10 raised to the power 6 millimeter 4. So all these value I have to put in this uh, formula. So look here, if I use this here in this formula, so M is 67. 0.5 into 10 raised to the power 6 Newton millimeter multiplied by 150 millimeter divided by moment of inertia 225 into 10 raised to the power 6 millimeter 4. Now, if I simplify this one, so what it will be? Just look into the unit, the number you can. Uh, just put it in the calculator and you will get 1 millimeter will be cancelled to millimeter here so it will be millimeter 3 and this millimeter will again cancel with 1 millimeter so we will get millimeter square so we get newton per millimeter square the newton per millimeter square is what mega pascal right so you can write mega pascal but again mega pascal newton per millimeter square both are the unit of stress so this bending stress is equal to if you do this calculation you will get 45 Newton per millimeter square or 45 mega Pascal. So 45 mega Pascal is what is the bending stresses in this beam. Once we have a beam of this much uh, length, 2.5 and 2.5 total 5 meter length, we apply 54 kilo Newton force here. The maximum bending moment will be 67.5 kN meter. The cross section of the beam is also given. So we use the bending stresses formula Fb is equal to my over i and we found the bending stresses in the beam will be 45 kN. Now this 45 I'm sorry 45 mega Pascal. So 45 mega Pascal will be in tension as well as in compression because the area here is symmetrical. The, the cross section area is symmetrical. So this y is equal to this y, that's why the stresses, the bending stresses in the top extreme fiber is equal to the bottom extreme fiber. In next video, we will solve a problem when the cross section area is not symmetrical. So we will find bending stresses in tension and we will also find bending stresses in compression. So that's it for this video. See you in the next video.